Hey peeps, it is time once again to take a look at what is new at Board Game Bliss, my amazing sponsor. We haven't done one of these in a while. I've been busy, my sponsor has been very busy, and finally we're, you know, getting back on track, and there's a lot of new stuff at the store, the online store, for you to check out. There's a physical store too, by the way, if you're in Canada. I've seen pictures of it, I haven't been there unfortunately, but it looks great! Maybe it's just because I had my face playing on a monitor there, and that, you know, you know. I mean, come on, look at this face. Of course I'm going to love it. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, now there's a lot of new stuff there. I can't go over everything, but these are just some things that you can find. Uh, the great thing about Board Game Bliss is that not only does it have a huge selection of the newest and hottest games, anything you can find at any other store, you can find at Board Game Bliss, but there's also tons of like deep cuts, as I call them, games that might be hard to find, European games you can't find anywhere else that's what's so great about shopping at Board Game Bliss. So do go and check it out on your own. More than I could possibly tell you here, so you'll get lost in that store looking at all the pages of stuff um, over time. So I'm sorry about that because you're going to lose your afternoon. <laughs> but in any event, let me tell you about just a few of the games that are available. First up is Captains of the Golden Age from the appropriately titled uh, Golden Age Games. Uh, this is a zero randomness, no luck game where you and the other players are, uh, you're not really pirates, although you could do piratey type things. You are people who are trying to make a living in the age of, you know, ship faring, spice trading, and piracy, and all these different types of things. It's card based, so you can use your cards to move your actual ship out on the board uh, a little bit, and you can also, uh, you can even ambush the other captains and make life more difficult for them, all while trying to do all the Euro-y things that you know and love. Next up is Robot Turtles, which is a game I think was funded on Kickstarter uh, for quite a bit of money uh, a while back, and that's because it's a game that is for kids, but it teaches programming. Now, it is a programmed action game, which is a type of game mechanism that a lot of adults enjoy, uh, and, you, and adults can enjoy this too, but the whole purpose is to teach kids programming in a fun way. Not just specifically computer programming, but teaching kids to think in that way, to sort of uh, channel their brains down those paths of how you can uh, set up a plan and see it executed. Uh, so it's got great components, it's got a fun theme of you moving a turtle and uh, programming it and things like that. So just, it, I've never played it personally, I think the idea and the look of it is fantastic for kids. So if you have kids, check it out. Next up is Escape the Room, Mystery at the Stargazer's Manor, and its expansion, Secret of Dr. Gravely's Retreat. Uh, these are actual room escape games. Well, they're, they're, they are game games, but they give you the stuff that you need in order to do like your own escape room type thing. It starts off digitally, I believe, but then it, it actually expands to where you are, you and the other players are trapped quote unquote, in a room and have to figure out puzzles and mysteries and things like that. Now, I don't know much more than that. And to be honest with you, I've never done an escape room. I don't really care to, but this is the hot trendy thing. I mean, everyone on my Facebook page talks about it. There's people who make it like it's a new like sub hobby for them you know, extending from their board gaming hobby to go and do this thing. And it makes a certain amount of sense to me. Uh, I just don't get it. <laughs> but if you're the type of person who has heard about these, maybe you like that true dungeon thing at Gen Con, this sounds like it would be in your wheelhouse. So check it out. V Commandos is from Triton Noir, and it is a war-based game, but it is also cooperative. And that way it actually reminds me a little bit of Fireteam Zero, which I have on the shelf back here. Uh, but without all the cool supernatural elements. But that, so that's a bummer. But uh, even a, a regular war game can be pretty interesting and fun, too, especially if it's cooperative. Because you don't see a lot of that. I would say that the vast, vast majority of war games are either one-on-one -on -one or teams or whatever, but it's always competitive. Uh, this one looks like it's interesting. You're going on missions. It's got a lot of interesting looking components and artwork, so check it out. Revenge of the Dictators from Black Box Adventures seems to be relying very heavily on its name and its gimmick, and maybe that's fine. You and the other players are competing evil dictators who are in the U.S. somehow, and you have to rampage across the U.S., shut down nuclear facilities and army bases and things like that, and eventually, uh, gently oust the president from power, but probably assassinate him <laughs> and take over for yourself. Again, it's relying on that gimmick. Uh, I think this is probably going to be a hard sell in the United States, uh, regardless of what your politics are. But kudos to them for going for it. <laughs> 
from an interesting but probably offensive and possibly legally questionable theme to a very tried and true one, we go to Hellas from White Goblin Games. Hellas or Hellas or Hellas, whatever. You say potato, I say something not related to potato. Uh, Hellas is a game where you are doing all the things you come to expect from a game that has a Greek theme in board gaming euros. You are building settlements, you're making pillars and temples, and you're trying to get marble to make those things it's a Euro game, but it does look like it's a hell of a Euro a hell of a Euro game. Aha! I think I'm done. Well, folks, that is just a smattering of what is available at Board Game Bliss. Like I said, you can also find the newest and hottest games there, too, uh, that you can find anywhere else. Uh, I want everyone to go there, look and find some cool games for yourself and buy them, and also keep an eye out because occasionally a copy of Cave Evil comes in stock, and I'm still looking for that. Thank you very much for watching, and please go to BoardGameBliss.com and support our sponsors. Thank you so much for doing so. Take care.